Hi. Today I want to talk about aliases in your Nuxt project. You'll probably notice aliases when you start typing an import statement. App, build, components, imports, view router, and there are more. So here's what they are. App is an alias to a particular file in the Nuxt package. This file re-exports a lot of the composables and other utilities Nuxt provides. And initially we advise people to import from this directly if they wanted to. But now we recommend that people use another one of these aliases, hash imports. Hash imports is a virtual alias. It tells the Nuxt compiler to rewrite it into specific imports from whatever you uh, import. So for example, use state from imports would be rewritten to be the exact path where use state is provided from. This is a way of improving performance because barrel files like hash app have a performance overhead for Vite and other compilers. So we recommend you use hash imports if you can and if you need a specific import. There's a similar one, hash components, which allows you to import every auto imported component if you need to import it specifically. Just like hash imports, hash components is a virtual import and it will be rewritten at build time for best performance and, and tree shaking. There are also other aliases. Hash build points to your .nuxt folder. This will often be used by modules who write a file there and then need to import it or read it in their module code. But users probably don't need to use it. Hash view router is an alias for view router itself. And it's something we use under the hood to enable typed routing if you enable experimental typed pages in your app. But again, you shouldn't need to access this at all. There's one much more important alias that you'll have noticed, and that is the tilde or at. This points to your project source directory and allows you to import code without having to pass relative paths all the time. There's an equivalent, a double at or a double tilde, and this points to your project root directory. Out of the box, your source and root directory are the same in a Nuxt project, but you can configure your source directory to be different, and that's something I often do. I often prefer to have a source directory which is separated from the rest of my app, so I can have test code different from my application code, and I can have configuration, like my Nuxt config, separated from my actual runtime code. And if you do that, then tilde will point to your source directory and not your root directory. There is one gotcha with using aliases. You might want to create your own, and some documentation will tell you to add it in TypeScript. You can create a compiler options and specify paths for TypeScript aliases. But this is definitely not something you should do in a Nuxt project, because anything you specify yourself in compiler options will overwrite what Nuxt provides, which will mean your IDE won't know about the aliases that Nuxt offers. And Nuxt has no way of knowing about the aliases you define. So instead, define them in your Nuxt config, in the alias property. You can create any number of aliases for yourself. Nuxt will know about them, and Nuxt will also make sure that your IDE and TypeScript know about them by updating the entries in your TypeScript config under compiler options paths. Hope that helped.